Good day, my name is Christelle from France Leclerc Independent Technical Analysts. This week we want to kick off the show with gold. And I know previously we've mentioned that that inverse head and shoulder formation has almost played out completely. And the conservative target of that inverse head and shoulder formation was first the length of that right shoulder. And when, when that played out, it took us very close to a critical level that we've previously mentioned and that was around $1,357. And $1,357 was a critical level that was tested and remained a resistance for about the last six years. And I want to zoom out here and go back as far as August 2013, when it was changed into a support, but immediately retraced from it again. It was tested here again, again in 24th of March um, 2014. Again, a, a range here in June 2016, where the gold price could just not find enough buyers to lift it above 1,357. And again, here in March, February, March 2018, it was again testing those critical levels. But in the week of the 17th of June, when the gold price could find enough buyers to lift it through $1,357, I mean, it's trading at around 1,420 at the moment. Because of it being so overbought, because of the rally, some of the speculators obviously have taken profit and we could see that in the possible tweezer top that developed here. So for any of the new viewers there, a tweezer top is two consecutive candles with long upper shadows. And those long upper shadows tells us that the, these, these are speculators that have taken profit. Now that tweezer top will only be confirmed when the gold price starts to consolidate below $1,398 again. We can see this week it found support almost on that level and started to reach for higher levels again. And I want to go back and look at the full target of the head because the formation, one, doesn't always play out in one, well, it never plays out in one line, but it also doesn't always meet and reach the full target. And the full target of this gold price is around $1,468. So yes, it's not maybe going to be at that exact level, but probably close to that. But then the critical level of resistance, because, you know, as technical analysts, we always look for resistance and support levels. So when a resistance changes into a support again, in other words, it becomes a flaw. It tells me and it implies that there was enough buyers that could lift this listed instrument to another um, high. And that resistance is waiting there around $1,439. So if the gold price can start to consolidate above $1,439 again, I can assume that maybe it can reach my target of $1,468. And again, below that 1387 level, we can maybe see a lower levels again. Yes, it is very overboard on all the indicators. This is just the stochastic I've used here, but that doesn't mean that it cannot escalate for higher levels. This inverse head and shoulder formation is still clearly in play. And then what also might, what can happen is that it can retrace a little bit, but then the important level um, to keep and remain a support is that $1,357. Yes, it can may, maybe even confirm the tweezer bottom, retrace a little bit more, but somewhere the gold price needs to find support and bounce again in order for me to remain optimistic about the gold price. This is a beautiful graph. It is always fantastic to see if these formations play out. We have to look at Sabanya, and Edward asked us to, to just confirm whether that inverse head and shoulder formation is still in place. And for those of you who might miss the inverse head and shoulder formation, let me just draw it here. It's this left shoulder, this massive head, and then the right shoulder. And we can see that the share is now flirting and testing that neckline as we speak. And as soon as the um, Sabanya can start to consolidate above the 16 Rand 80 level on a weekly close, remember this is a weekly graph. So by Friday, Sabanya needs to start to consolidate above that 16 Rand 80, then we can see higher levels. Yes, also 
When will the formation will be wiped off the table? When will this form the optimism around this formation become obsolete? When the instrument starts to consolidate below, and I'm, I've used my right shoulder here, below uh, 11 rand and 40 cents. So before even that, I can maybe use this 40-week moving average. Remember, the 40-week moving average is the line in the sand. It is the sentiment, it is the sentiment barometer who tells me that above it, my sentiment towards the share is positive for long-term investors and below it, it becomes negative. So as long as the share remains above that 40-week moving average, we can assume that the sentiment is positive and we can see higher levels. I think at this stage, um, the, the strong RAND is definitely the, 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 the variable that has kept Sabanya back a little bit. But a beautiful inverse head and shoulder formation. And let's just give those targets. What is the conservative target? I'm using the, the right shoulder here. If I project that from the neckline upward, it can take uh, Sabanya to around 22 RAND 47. And if we take the full length of the head and we project that upwards, it can take Sabanya around 27 Rand 66. And yes, it's not going to happen, you know, going to move in one line, but it's going to breathe and, and rise and breathe and rise. Interesting enough, there's also a window waiting here, and that window is between 30, 34 Rand and 6 cents and 34 Rand and 18 cents. And a window always gets close. And a window on a weekly graph is a very strong target. And remember, it can take days, weeks, months, or even decades. But that is a nice target for a long-term investor to maybe aim for. I think the graph looks beautiful. That 40-week moving average will be my line. Only below that would I start to feel uncomfortable about Sabanya. Let's have a look at DRD that also absolutely skyrocketed to higher levels when the gold price um, rose above that $1,357. Now, this is a lamp pole formation. Now, a lamp pole formation is usually a warning formation. That means the share price rose too quickly, too fast. And normally what happens is it just falls over and it retraces. Why would that be? Why would a lamp pole formation be a warning formation? It's almost like trying to build a a double story house on a small foundation. When the share skyrockets like that and it starts to retrace, there's not a lot of strong support where it can find um, um, support to just sustain it. So that often means that when a share price skyrockets like that, it retraces immediately because there's just not enough support. But at the moment, um, DRD Gold is trapped within this symmetrical triangle. And a symmetrical triangle can, can be, be mean uncertainty. It means it can either start to reach for higher levels again when it starts to consolidate above that 4 and 53. And then um, some traders might call this then a bullish flag formation because it just rallied up took a breather and then reached for higher levels again. Or when it starts to consolidate below this 4 Rand 10 level, we might say, listen, the share is going to retrace a little bit further. So it's going to be interesting to see whether this is going to be, be a more of a bullish pattern, whether the momentum to the top is going to continue, or whether we are maybe going to see a little bit of more profit taking at the moment. If I look at my stochastic indicator, yes, it is extremely overbought. It's above an 80. And, but more importantly, my blue line, this shorter moving average in my indicator, has already broken through my red line. And that tells me negative of divergence. It tells me that the probability of the share maybe to retrace even further down is more likely. So the critical levels to, 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 to write down for DRD is 4 and 53 and that 4 and 11. And remember, this is a weekly graph. So you might have to wait till the Friday close before you can make that decision and say, I am going to either take profits or maybe even be a risky trader and add to my position. Sayid asked us to look at net care. Now, this is a share that absolutely just continued to reach for the new low after a new low. And I mean, we, nobody thought that in March 2015, when it traded around 44 Rand, that 
we will try we will be able to buy it again around 17 rand 19 but there's two critical things that i want to highlight for you Said, on this graph and this is when the share started to change that 40 week moving average into a resistance that was the the bell that should have rang for you to say be careful, there is a warning formation on the table. There is not enough buyers to lift this share above the 40 week and to keep it above the 40 week, you have to be careful. And so he'd never underestimate the power of this 40 week moving average. As if a share starts to consolidate below it, it is that bell that you should not um, um, ignore. And there was also a, a, a double top formation or a lower high that was confirmed. But that is history. Let's look at what is currently visible on the graph. And we can see now for two consecutive weeks, the share has found quite some support around 16 Rand 40. And yes, it is very oversold. That means the probability of the share to reach for higher levels is is more likely and yes my blue line did break through my red moving average which is also a positive indicator but I don't have confirmation yet Saeed that this strong resistance here there around 18 rand and 9 cents has changed into a supported I would wait for the share to start to change 18 rand and 9 cents into a support but more importantly I want to see higher lows and higher lows means the share retraces, finds support at some level, bounces again. Retrace a little bit more, finds support. But that support where it finds it needs to be a little bit higher than the previous support and then reach for higher levels again. And when that previous resistance changes into a support again, that will be confirmation of your next higher low. So if I can make a projection, I would like the share to maybe, as I've said, bounce a little bit, find resistance, maybe retrace, but not as low as these support levels, and then bounce again. And then when that next higher low, wherever that might be, when that next higher low is confirmed, that might be a better opportunity to could, to get into this share. If you want, if you want a trade, you can maybe um, to, um, cons to wait for this share to, to of the, this candle to finish, and then use that low of this as a stop loss, sixteen rand thirty seven. But look at your average to range indicator. Make sure your stop loss is not too tight, and then maybe you can get a four or five percent out of this share because it is extremely oversold at the moment. But for a long term investor, I would sit on my hands for now.